Hi guys, this is episode 7 of my Creative Club Career Mode with ZM Cohetes and I just want to apologize for not posting for yesterday and the day before I kind of got into like kind of a small accident so I wasn't really able to um, post or do anything but I'm back now and I should continue my daily uploads and stuff. Next up is the match against Barcelona and it's going to be a really tough one but we're looking for a possible draw or a win. I mean we already drew with them last time and we were in our stadium but we're going to their stadium now and let's see if we're going to be able to do better than what we did it's highly unlikely but i mean it's a chance that i'm willing to take Risi is going to be starting this match one thing i really like about him is the fact that he's really quick and he's actually really good on the ball i have no idea what he was doing in the previous episodes before he decided to shine last episode he actually did really really good last episode anyway if you guys didn't watch that you should definitely go check it out link will be in the description below you guys should also drop a like it really helps out the channel and also subscribe to the channel as well calvin james donovan and vandre have finally reached an 80 overall and all that's left now is for zaracho Batch and Rise to get there and then we're going to have an all 80 rated lineup all right this match against Barcelona is not going to be tough Lewandowski hasn't really done that well in the in the league because he's not really on the top five like Benzema and Vinicius and Fonseca in our team but let's not talk about Lewandowski right now let's talk about the match itself this is going to be a really tough match because we are coming to the new camp and this is going to be fucking hard for us to at least get a draw so i want to try our best obviously the team actually did really really well last episode they won basically all of their matches although they lost to Serie in the Copa de España but let's see if we're going to be able to continue that home run of form in this episode hopefully we can this is our star man here Fonseca is our number nine although he wears number seven though and i actually think he's a Ronaldo region funny enough because he's from Portugal and he's that good 6-1 six or 6 I'm not sure but you know he's from Portugal so I'm just going to assume that he's the Ronaldo region because he's that good so Lewandowski kicks off and let's see how we can deal against Barcelona in this match hopefully hopefully we don't show ourselves in the leg like we did last match against Barcelona but oh they have they have Alexander Arnold that's that's crazy all right so they're already they're already in on goal here and that was that was a good that was a good attempt for defense but i have no idea what the fuck happened there that they completely just switched off at the end that was that was so annoying because i mean i mean how, how how does that even happen so easily so so early on in the match like we, we intercepted that and then the defender just completely left Lewandowski alone okay so we go again let's see if we can do something what the fuck was that pass let's see if we can try and get that goal back okay so that was bad i honestly thought that i was going to get the ball there i honestly thought that ball was mine but he was just able to push the ball one step before that that fucked it up for us hopefully he goes for a panenka here i doubt it's lewandowski and i'm just going to right that was that was good from the keeper that was actually a really really good anticipated save okay that was that was really good from helvig by the way unexpected that he was able to get that ball but he was and let's just try and rebuild again we have fonseca in on goal here and just do okay that was good and that's a really really good goal <laughs> i stuttered there because i didn't want to understand what the fuck was going on but i was able to get it through to Rise, and he's showing me what a really really good fucking player he is right now i mean it was good play for fonteca to keep that ball and then the vision to see Rise making that run and pass it directly to where he was going to be that was really nice and of course a really really good finish from Rise there i mean he could be the japanese messi who knows because he's actually he's actually doing really really well and he's playing i mean he's not playing like messi because you know i mean you can't really play like messi in this game but he's doing okay and that was a really really good chance and let's see if we get it and no we don't i mean there was no one there to pass so i mean i saw Rissi running but he just wasn't there on time okay so we have we have german making a run and you know, the, the course was too weak and there's nothing we could have done there so not a lot has happened in the first half other than what i've shown you so far and i mean it's already half time and well it's been a fairly even first half i mean they haven't really gotten that many chances we haven't really got that many chances but we were both able to take one it was a good thing that we were able to save the one skip penalty because that may have just demoralized our entire team and i'm really happy that Bandri was able to step up and get the, the save there all right so we start the second half and I mean, we, I'm on a mission right now to keep possession and do as as much as possible to try and get the best opportunities in this half and obviously take them with the amount of talent that we have and that's not how to do it, that's not how to fucking do it.
Okay, so that was good. That was really good play, and we end up with a goal. That was really, really good play, and we actually deserve to end up with that goal there because I mean the, the, the teamwork there was really nice and everybody was in the right position and German was not going to miss from there. That was such a really good goal. Alright so we are one goal up and we have gotten the ball straight off here so I mean the best thing to do would be to hold possession. I mean I'm not really good at that with a team that isn't really all that good at passing and ball control but I'm just going to try and hold the ball as much as possible. Okay, and Fonseca is free here. Let's get the goal. And oh my god, oh my god. I could have just, I, I, I should have just gone to score normally. I legit should have just gone to score normally. I, I, completely, fuck, I, I completely fucked that up because I thought that he was actually going to be able to get that on target. But that was a really risky play from Barcelona there because Risse is fast enough to get those kind of loose balls. Okay, good work from Zaracho there. And also good work for Risse too. Like, he's tracking back and that's, that's what I need. Okay, but I'm gonna take it short and let's try and intercept this right now. And that, that was fucked up. Okay, that's good. And of course, he's blocking us. Of course, he's fucking blocking us. And they have another corner. Okay, that was good from Risse this time around. And De Jong was just able to block him off there. And he's not able to do much. But we do get the ball. We end up with the ball. And we have somewhat of a counter attack here that has gone astray. Yes, it has because Fonseca is not really that good at passing. And this is fucked up, and it's nothing we really could have done about that. I, <laughs> from the beginning of that move, when I saw Lewandowski free there, I just knew that there was no way that I was going to be able to do anything about that. Hopefully, they don't go on to win again because that would be really annoying. But what I really want to do right now is try and get the winning goal or at least try and draw this match for the second time in a row. We're obviously the least favorite to win the match because we are a completely new team in La Liga. Let's just hope that we can get the win. I see, I see, I saw Fonseca there and I have no idea what the hell that pass from German was. That, that was like a complete disgrace. And I see we say again and um, please score it. Please score it. He doesn't. He doesn't. And why is, why is he jogging? Why is he jogging? He's obviously way faster than that. Well, this game is actually, actually fucking rigged right now. This game is so rigged. Because, I mean, I, I saw so many opportunities for us to get goals. The game is had to slow our freaking players down to the point where they can't do shit anymore. Okay, we have one more corner to the one more cross to defend, and that was a really good save from Van Gray to deny Alexander Arnold there. Alright, this is a corner which means we have one last chance for a counter attack. Let's try and get this out to Rise. Okay, if you Rise so breath, please do not blow. Oh my god, oh my god. I just think they need to not blow the fucking whistle. Like it's a fucking last attack. It's a last attack. He could have just not blown the whistle. We would have gotten there in recent because it's really, really fast. I mean, we did try. We we, we went ahead in this match, and we just weren't able to hold our lead there. And Barcelona was able to get the equalizer. Good work from German and Rise. We're in March, so the season is almost over. We have Celta Vigo up next. So I'm just going to simulate to that date. I'm going to bring Maliki on in this match, and maybe I will bring in Bustos for for Batch, and that's pretty much all I want to do right now we are still waiting on Zaracho and Rise and Batch as well to reach that 80 mark probably they might do that in this episode or at least one of them might do that in this episode I'm going to be saving the match while at home so I'm hoping for a good win here no we draw we score really early in the seventh minute but German was able to get the equalizer in the 68th minute well I'll tell you that draw was definitely not something that we needed right now because I actually need to be going up the table not down the table or in the middle actually one i mean we're third last time i checked we're still third right now but we are at risk of going down to fourth if we lose this match against real Sociedad, and i do not plan on doing that all right we're going all out in this match putting in our best team Rise has finally reached that 80 mark and german is on an 84 already this guy is fucking crazy we have just two players are waiting for in our starting 11 to reach that 80 mark which is zara Cho and batch i mean it's not really special if all of them are 80 rated i just really want to see them being all that good i wonder what the fuck is up with the pitch right now maybe it's the rain i don't know but let's start the match here and let's hope that we are able to get the win hopefully we are because i mean the match against rastona ha had to have been tougher although we are in in their stadium this time around i think we beat them last time we played against them we are in the stadium this time around though. that was a good interception and I mean, it's going to be tougher with being with their stadium. Can you make that run for me? 
that was that was good but we just weren't able to capitalize on that this okay that was a really good way to beat the press i actually like that they are smarter the ai when it comes to pressing because i mean it's quite dumb for them to always put the ball up the field every single time they're in a pinch hopefully they, they do not score here it's going to be really annoying if they do and yeah, that was a really good save from van dre Kallenberg is free hopefully yes and who is there Okay, German was there, but the shot was just blocked. And this guy was able to save it, actually. That's, that's good for him. Okay, that was good. And, well, we were able to get the shot off. I'm actually not comfortable with his one-time skills, but I think I'm just going to have to put a little more faith in him and actually just blast that in. But, I mean, that's a chance for later. All right, that was another really good save from Van Dray there. All right, so we have another chance for a counter-attack, and I wonder what the hell the captain was doing there. Good interception from Stewart though, and let's try and give it to Fonseca here. But I mean, he's running way too slow for my own, for my liking. And we'll just just go back, try and rebuild, and nothing comes of that. Okay, that was a really good chance, a really good play, and that was a really good play and that was a really good chance but their keeper was just able to save their asses there let's see if Donovan can help us out here he doesn't i'm going to give it back to Kallenberg who is going to give it straight to Fonseca who is at the end and that should have been a freaking goal that should have been a goal that should have been a goal my my god all right so we still have a chance here and well that was that was wasted i made the wrong decision there okay that was a good pass and he has tried i tried to do a chip but that was obviously the wrong option oh my god that that, that was fucking brilliant that was so brilliant from Badre. i mean we had a really really huge defensive error but we we're able to sort that out or rather Badre was able to save our asses and once again he was able to and we are out for half time this time i wouldn't really say i'm impressed with the performances so far i mean they have been quite slow not really slow though but like they haven't been all that decisive and all but and we should be able to change that in this second half hopefully and i just need i just need someone to make a really good run and not pass like an idiot like that Alright, so that was a really good pass and Fonseca should be able to get this and he doesn't but Kallenberg is right there to pounce on that defensive error and we have gotten our first goal in this match. That was a that was really good play from the guys there and I mean it's, it's sad that Fonseca wasn't able to get the goal but I mean he was just able, I mean I wanted to pass to Kallenberg there but the defense did that for me and well we are one goal ahead now all right i'm bringing in maduke for kallenberg but Risi is going to be going down that middle because i mean he is actually a cm which i changed to a right winger but let's see i mean he he, he did really well in, in the cm position and what the hell was that just now okay that was really good interception all right make the run for me thank you thank you they really shouldn't be able to catch you and that was really good and please score it and that was a really good save from their keeper i mean i probably should have passed that but i really want fonseca to score for some reason and it's a really good chance for donovan which he doesn't get and gets bundled over so he doesn't he's not able to get the rebound oh my god that was that was scary <laughs> that was fucking scary i don't know how they were able to get that through my defense but they actually did that was actually really really good teamwork from them i'm bringing donovan off i mean it's kind of a dumb option because he's the better defender but he's really tired and i don't want to get him all fucked up and shit all right i'm really really defending with my entire life right now and all of my mind is here but vandre to the rescue once again <laughs> what the fuck? all right so i'm taking zaracho off now and i mean I'm, I'm supposed to be bringing attacking options in right now but i think the defense is actually not that bad and let's just try and get this okay they have one more corner let's just try and get this all the way up to fonseca up the field and please get the ball okay, that was close but they are still in possession and that 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 was brilliant but some of course that happens of course that fucking happens that's supposed to be a red card that's supposed to be a fucking red card but that was a very stupid dumbass tackle to be honest Okay, that was good cover from whoever that is, but the pass, the, the clearance wasn't able to go anywhere. And I wonder what the hell 
these passes are to be honest what the hell are these passes come on you guys can do way better than this three of the field and that should be the end of the match that was a good match even though our goal was quite lucky I and mean, we still get the three points all in all and we, I, in my opinion we were the better team because we just had way more opportunities than they did so that is yet another clean sheet that Vandre has got in this guy has to be the keeper of the year in the La Liga to be honest if there is even something like that we have gone back up to second Villarreal lost their match against wherever they played with Real Madrid is on 72 points which means they are 12 points ahead of us but we have the game at hand if we are able to win this match against Hirona which I really shouldn't doubt that we would win then we are going to be back to 9 points I mean it's still possible for us to get the win but I mean it's Real Madrid come on and <laughs> it's just not possible that they are going to be dropping any points anytime soon I'm throwing Maduki out there and I'm putting Lozano in place of Zaratio in this match and that's pretty much all I'm doing let's simulate the match and hopefully we get the win we don't we draw the match yet again it's like the sims are all about drawing matches to be honest it's really fucking annoying scouting report for Spain has come in this should be the last one and let's just hope that there's at least someone of importance in this in this list right now and well there's this guy it has to be the highest and he's rate he's valued 2.9 million which means i am definitely signing him i can't wait to see what his actual rating is should be 60 something thereabouts and there's no one here that is actually of any importance to me let's check the last from netherlands and let's hope that we at least get one player from this from this team from this um scouting report that is good enough to enter into our squad and sadly enough I can't find anybody really. Oscar Martinez here is unsettled and he wants to be called up to the first team and I mean his his potential is really good his overall is on 59 he's 17 so I'm just going to accept that and bring him up to the um, first team and this is the guy that we saw Fernando Martinez is a 66 rated player his potential is 79 to 94 and 17 that is absolutely insane i have no idea why the fuck are 17 i have that kind of thick beard on you he starts are pretty decent if he's not unsettled by the end of the season i'm going to bring him on at the beginning of next of next season next up we have lg i'm going to be putting out my first team here and let's see if we get the win we don't we draw yet another match fonseca get a brace next up we have what is going to be the last match of this episode we are going up against villarreal and this is going to be a revenge match because they absolutely thrashed us in the last match i'm going to skip the press conference because i'm not really interested in it we are going for our first team, but the only thing is I'm going to put Maduke in and I'm going to bring Risi on in the second half. It's not really anybody else I want to work with right now. And well, this is all I have really. This is basically all I have. The stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it. And this should be something special on the pitch. This match is going to be really tough. In the previous fixture, they beat us 3-1, if I'm not wrong, or 4-1, I can't remember. But they shot, destroyed us in that match. And I don't want this, I, I don't want what happened last match to happen this time around. We're at home, so we should have at least some sort of buff in this match. And let's just try and focus and try and get the win in this match, because that's really, really what I want. Let's just try and keep possession and then get the win. And that was a very freaking dangerous tackle. I don't know how he, he got away with that, but he did. And yeah, we were able to get the ball back there. And we have another chance on goal. And uh, I mean, that was a good save from keeper. I mean, I should have taken it the other way, but I just wanted to go near post there. And as well, we have a corner. Let's try and look for Donovan. And hopefully, he should be able to get it, but he doesn't go to Donovan. It goes to whoever that is. And now we have Madike with the ball, and then Fonseca was able to get the shots off there. Alright, so we have a really good chance for Madike here, and please score it, and what the hell did you just do? How the hell did you not even score that? That was a really good chance, and we were able to capitalize on it. We have, we've had a lot of chances early on, like three, and... Hope, hope, hope it's not a sign that we are probably and absolutely fucked in this match. Alright, that was a good save from Van Dray. I i have been quiet throughout the entire first half because I really do not want anything to happen. Okay, we have a we have some something of a counter-attack here and I just need anybody to make that run. Anybody literally. Need any freaking person and of course it's German and he gets the first goal for us. Obviously he does and that was really really good finishing from him 
and well, I have no idea what you know, my guy is doing, but okay. Really good goal, by the way. That was a really, really spot on pass from Kalimberg there. That was a really fucking great pass. And I mean, I thought the first touch had already let, let us down there, but we were just able to sort his feet out and get that goal immediately. Alright, so we have our first goal of the match, and okay, it's in the first half. I thought we were in the second half for some reason. It sucks that we did score first in the first match, but let's just hope that we're actually going to be able to hold hold the lead right now. And Bandre is the one that's helping us out. I have no idea how the hell that short guy is heading the ball over our tall ass defenders. So the hero of this match is currently German, and well, let's hope that we can keep the scoreline this way or we can make it better. I think one thing I need to work on is the overall passing of the team and defense obviously. Because like, I mean sometimes I want some really really cool things to happen and the team just completely screws me over. I mean, I mean like look at that, look at that. I mean there was nothing wrong with the pass but I mean how are you not controlling that? I mean you are an easy three rated player and you are not able to control that. What? Okay that was, that was scary. How the hell are they able to get so much power on these shots like that? I really want to be able to do that because I mean I'm still trying to sort out how to how to get the free kicks right, and I just I'm not able to. Okay, that was a really good pass. A uh, German should be able to get this. I mean, there's really nobody there. There's really no one there to pass to, and I have no idea what Kallenberg decided to go and do there. But he just wasn't in a great position. I mean, he was standing in an offside position asking for the ball. I was wondering why, like, what the hell is this guy doing? I'm bringing in Rise because I need the speed that I want right now. And um, I think I'm going to bring in Lozano for for this guy, for Donovan. I mean, he is fast enough. He's 76 and he's really tall. So I think I think I might actually be putting him in that center back position from now because I actually didn't know he was that tall. He's 6'4". I mean, if you guys saw it there. All right, so Rise is coming on and I have no idea why his head texture keeps on changing. It's really really annoying we're able to get the ball and let's just hope that we can get this to german and no we can't i have no idea why that ball was moving so freaking slow like i have zero idea but james was able to get that but he just wasn't able to keep it all right so that was a possibility and it's actually a really good possibility i really can't believe that he actually got that and he actually scored he actually scored that has to be the goal of the season. That was a very beautiful pass from Helvig all the way from the back. And this guy was actually able to get all that way, ran past the defender and got it one time and actually went into the post. That was absolutely amazing. That was so freaking amazing. And we are tuning up against our bitter rivals, Villarreal, even though this is just our second match in the history of this club. Okay, that was yet another really good save. I mean, we have just a couple minutes to go, and they can actually get two goals in this in this few minutes that we have. But there's a chance for a counter attack and us to score if we actually just get this out to Rise, which we do. And I think this should be a goal. This should definitely be a goal. There is no way. There's no way he's not scoring this. I'm literally going to run this all the way into the post. I'm going to run it all the way into the fucking post. <laughs> of course, I do that. Of course I do that. He literally comes off the bench and scores two goals. And once I saw the keeper there, and I saw that Rise got the ball after that corner, there was no way that he was going to score because this guy is so freaking fast, and no one was going to be able to catch him. And I mean, I could have shot it from far. His finishing is not that good, and his shooting is not really that good. So I mean, the best option was just running all the way into the post. And I would like to think that we have gotten our revenge because the last time they beat us 3-1, and we actually got the better of them in this match, winning them 3-0. And what well, we see, in my opinion, has to be the Japanese Messi. And once again, both German and Rise were able to get the goals and get the win in this match. With that win, we were able to push ourselves a little further away from Villarreal. We are now five points away from them, but Atletico Madrid took their place in third position. I wonder where Barcelona is right now, by the way. They are sixth, which means that I mean they still have um, um, European football to play, but I mean they should obviously do better than that and try and at least get into the Champions League this season. Alright, that's the end of the episode. In the next one, we're going to be starting with the match against Sevilla. That's going to be a tough one. I think they beat us in the last match that we played. Either we beat them, or if they beat us in the Copa del Rey, but we were able to beat them in the league or draw with them, if I'm not wrong. But either way, the team did really well not to lose a match in this entire episode. That's really good for them. And we are able to secure our spot in second place. I think we are one and a half matches away from 
Atletico Madrid right now. With just six matches left to play in the league, we should be able to finish this season in the next episode. I mean, obviously we should be able to so anyways thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next video peace